So it's turned off at the moment as you can see. Now I'm going to turn it on. Can you hear the difference? It's gone lo-fi. Really, really nice lo-fi effect. Hey, what's up guys? Bad Music Production, how y'all doing? Today, we're looking at a one of the probably the best the top lo-fi VST plugins and before I go into it I'm gonna show you how I used it in his hip-hop and rap kind of beat uh, I made a whole melody and just vocals just to demonstrate the effect so this is without the lo-fi effect off so not there's no lo-fi effect at all let's have a quick listen to this Homies always rapping, tell me how they really going, going stop it. No, I got all the, all the talent, but I will never, never, never drop this on books. I now, let's have a quick listen to that again, but with the lo-fi effect on. So let's turn on the lo-fi effect on the actual vocals, and let's turn them on on the actual um, on the actual melody. So I've put it on the actual melody, the whole melody itself. So this is the lo-fi effect on the melody, and this is the lo-fi effect on the actual vocals. Now there's a preset I've used for this. We'll talk about it more where you can get it. Okay, let's have a quick look at the difference now. So you can hear the melodies a lot more mellow. So can you hear the difference? So listen to this. Let's turn it off on the melody now. See that? And we're gonna make it lo fi. Same with the I uh, lyrics. So as you guys can see, I'm just messing around, just showing you how this works, and it's so cool. So I'm actually gonna use it here on my voice, so you guys can see the actual effect. Check this out. So we get this effect. We turn it on, and um, I'm gonna turn it off on the other plugins because it's giving us a little bit of output. Okay. So once we've got it on, we can play around with it. It's really, really good, good VST plugin. Now you guys can get it for free from our website. If you go on to Producers Buzz, I've got the low, the uh, vocal preset on the how what I've done, so you guys can you know set it up to this. If you want, you can download this preset from the actual website Producers Buzz. The link is in my description, and there's a download link to this as well. So really good uh, VST plugin. Now, um, you know, on here you've got the mechanical voice. Check that out. So you can add the amount of mechanical voice you want. Then you've got the where. So you can kind of add where to it. Really, really good if you want to like, you know, if, if a track gets old, it gets that where kind of thing. Then you've got electrical noise. So let's listen to the electrical noise. So, you know, if you wanted to achieve like an old kind of TV effect, you can do this and add a bit of dust to it. So just by adding a bit of dust and turning this up to about, um, well, putting it up, you can now kind of hear that dust, a little bit of scratching. Maybe that's too much scratching. So just a little touch of scratching like that. And you kind of got this old kind of TV effect. Now I'm not too sure about the scratch because it makes it lag a bit, but the wolf death is what kind of gives it that final effect how you want to wolf the actual effect so as you can see i'm selecting the presets down here which are built in warp models and i can just select, select that you've got a spin down button what this will do is kind of just spin everything down so let's listen to the track and if you press this you would have to add it to the master to do that, so let's do that. So let's turn it off from here, and let's add that effect to the master now. So 
we're gonna spin the track down this is really cool to like do this kind of cool spin down effect so i'm showing you a lot of things at once i've showed you how to use it in vocals i've showed you some pretty cool effects you can use it in tv and radio kind of effect now i'm going to show you how you can get this kind of um down spin down kind of effect so when you play it you press this button so you can kind of get spin down of the track so when you play the track okay and how cool is that even if I talk this is like All right, guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the melody only and show you what this actually does to the melody so you guys can hear it very clearly. So it's turned off at the moment, as you can see. Now I'm going to turn it on. Can you hear the difference? It's gone lo-fi. Really, really nice lo-fi effect. Now what is the magic button on this preset here that makes it sound so good and makes it sound so lo-fi? It's actually this button down here. Now listen to it, what it does. Can you see that? As soon as we hit 1930s, so the 1930s, that's when we get this kind of really lo-fi effect. Obviously, if we go up in a year, it doesn't sound that great. But once we go down to 90, 30, listen to that. And if we put the RPM, the rates per minute, to 78, this will give us more kind of, you know, it will give us more quality sound. So put the RPM up a little bit so the melody doesn't lose too much quality, yet really compressing that, you know, high uh, definition sound to make it lo-fi. So, with it off and on, and this is 90s, 30s type of lo-fi effect. Great for melodies, guys. Really, really good. So, a really, really cool effect in this, and this is a really, really powerful VST effect for creating hip hop and trap kind of lo-fi type of beats. If you guys are looking to make those lo-fi type of beats, this is perfect because you can just kind of just go crazy with it. You know what I mean? And I hope you guys really like this tutorial. Um, on on our website, on Producers Buzz, there's more information, download links to download this, and also there's a preset for radio sound. I'll let you guys play with that. Pretty cool. Um, again, much respect to, to Isotope for coming out with this plugin. It's absolutely crazy, and you guys done a really, really good job. Those of you that are looking to, um, you know, get a lo-fi type of VST, this is free to download. You get a free serial and everything, so it's free to use, and it's absolutely brilliant. So again, let's have a quick listen with to this lo-fi beat because I actually really really like it so let's have a quick listen to this and yeah I just had a quick mess around with the vocals so those of you that you know heard the vocals I was just messing around but it's definitely something you guys should really use and no this is not a promotional video I'm not being paid to advertise I'm actually showing this to you guys because I'm going to be using this VST plugin myself to create some lo-fi type of beats and I thought I'd share it with you because it's definitely a VST plugin that makes it so much easier to use and it's free you know what I mean you don't pay a penny for it so there you go uh, yeah let's have a quick listen again Make sure you hit the follow and like, guys. Hey, proper spin down there right at the end. Love it, love it. Those of you that are watching, make sure you subscribe, hit the like, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, and make sure you go and grab this Isotope Vinyl 
is the lo-fi magical plugin you guys need to create those lo-fi type of beats don't forget Pav Beats is who showed this plugin to you um, if you haven't heard it before make sure you hit the like drop a comment peace out see you guys soon